So, Dr. Wingo, you have any good cases lately? Well, I've had a couple of good ones. So one of the ones that kind of jumps out in my memory is a maybe 35-year-old patient who was admitted to the hospital for new onset ascites. 35 um, years yeah, old? Yeah, about 35, yeah. Wow. He just immigrated from the, to the United States from a refugee camp in Kenya, um, and he didn't have any known past medical history or anything. Wow. Um, so he gets admitted, and we do kind of the usual workup for ascites. You know, we start looking for liver disease, and we start looking for portal hypertension, and we do a paracentesis. And the, you know, expected findings in somebody with ascites would be a serum ascites albumin gradient greater than 1.1 right. for portal hypertension, and it wasn't. It was low. The SAG was low. So then we're thinking, oh, okay, this is TB. We got it. That's the diagnosis. Okay, so it kind of ruled out ascites from cirrhosis or right. portal hypertension. It was all normal. All okay. that testing was normal. All right. So, so we start going after the question of TB. Uh, we Africa. do all, yeah, we do all the testing for that, and it's all negative. Jeez. So we're on rounds, and we've got a very astute medical student on rounds with us. And the medical student kind of leans over after we see the patient and is like, "Can you help me figure out how to describe the patient's joint findings of ah. the hands?" Mm -hmm. And we all kind of look at each other. What, what joint findings? Because <laughs> we kind of looked at his hands, but maybe not squeeze. Not, we didn't do as thorough of an exam as the student. Okay. So we go in and we look at his hands, and sure enough, there's kind of like synovitis in the hands, and there's some tenderness. Um, and he says, yeah, yeah, it's really st they're really stiff in the morning. And so that just kind of changes the differential a little bit. Wow. So we go down the path of working up rheumatologic diseases. Mm -hmm. Sure enough, this 35-year-old guy had lupus and his ascites was lupus peritonitis. That's crazy. What are the chances? Well, first of all, you don't see it in males as much as females. Right. And I don't think I've ever seen ascites from lupus. It's rare. So you treated the lupus and he all got better? And The ascites took a while, yeah. but once he was on treatment for lupus, he felt so much better. He got dismissed from the hospital and came in for follow-up and was doing okay. Amazing. Now that's a gee whiz case. Well, thanks to the medical student. Got any more? Um. Yeah, I can think of, I can think of an interesting case recently. It was one of my own patients, um, a patient of mine who was in his 80s, reasonably healthy, um, always had a little bit of back pain, but really over the last you know couple months, the back pain had just progressively worsened. Mm. And when I saw him, he came in in a wheelchair, which was not his baseline. And you know maybe there was a fall a few months ago, and so you know I checked for point tenderness on the spine, and he was pretty tender at a specific spot. So I went ahead and got an X-ray that showed Paget disease. That Paget's was what the radiologist said. It said never diagnosed before. Never had it before, and I didn't have any reason to look for it. And the radiologist very confidently said findings consistent with Paget disease. So. His bone elk foss was elevated. I was sure that was the diagnosis, so um, I was going to refer him to the Paget people. Um, but as part of that referral, decided to get a bone scan. Right. And the bone scan did not look good. So it mm. didn't look like Paget disease. There were kind of bony lesions all over. And so we went, mm, this is not Paget disease. So it was prostate. His PSA was like over 50. And so it was just kind of the subacute worsening of his back pain, and I just felt like, oh, I just felt horrible. It's a great example of finding an unsuspected disease that you think explains what's going on, but then the more you look, the more it doesn't quite fit. It didn't that's fit. A, that's a gee whiz case also. You get all the good patients. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even in the referral practice at Mayo Clinic. I'm just a regular doctor. You're just a magnet.